Let's go ahead and talk a little art here this morning. And we're going to specifically talk about the James Museum, who has a new powerful exhibition that we get to get some details on. Emily Capus is curator of art. I hope I got that right. We were talking about your name earlier, Capus, right? That's right. Thanks Gotta for having me today. Got to get that because this is really such a powerful way of, of looking at history almost through a unique lens, if you will. And I know education, of course, is always at the, at the forefront of your mind at the James, but then also being able to just kind of display works of art that maybe brings an awe moment, right? Absolutely. And at the James Museum, we try to incorporate many different perspectives. And the exhibition is so powerful and tells important stories that a lot of people aren't familiar with. And so we, we really felt like it's um, it, it's worth it to share. And it's although the subject matter can be a little heavy, and it certainly talks about the tragedy of the Indian boarding school era, um, I think you come away with um, a feeling of, of hope and resiliency as well, but it's a chance to um, feel some empathy and, and feel some understanding and, and connection because it is, uh, it's, it's such a, a, a sad story and part of our history, um, but it's, it's worth telling, absolutely. And again, the exhibit is called Away From Home. And again, focusing on the American Indian boarding schools going now through March 16th. Talk about being able to get some of these. Um, of course, we're looking at the historical photographs, the objects, the timelines, even interviews I know were a part of this exhibit, right? Correct. So we've borrowed this exhibition uh, that was originally uh, um, adapted from the Heard Museum in Phoenix, and they focus on Native American history, culture, and art. And so this has a lot of accounts from former students. And the first boarding schools um, uh, popped up in the late 1800s. And for about 50 years there, conditions were quite extreme. And uh, they were government run, they were off reservation, sometimes very far away from their families. Um, and the idea was to assimilate native children um, and, and teach them English, uh, strip away their clothing that were that was traditional, what was known to them, um, give them uniforms, cut their hair, really all aspects of their culture was gone. Um, and, and so it's so painful, especially thinking that it's children. Um, and it's caused some um, really extreme intergenerational trauma. Um, and so people are still healing from this today. Um, boarding schools eventually got some reform going in the, the 1930s and 40s, um, and there's still even a couple in operation today, um, but they were able to turn the, the the focus around and really be native focused. And it's and the few schools that are left are now native run um, and they celebrate culture and they really um they 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 help with um such a, a positive experience. And, and what let's talk about the artists that are involved because we're talking about firsthand experiences, aren't we, for the artists who have been able to display some of these like photographs, for instance. Yes. So in the James collection, uh, we have a couple of hundred native artists represented in paintings and sculptures, um, and that's part of our permanent galleries as well. Um, but I've added to the this traveling exhibition that we borrowed art by artists who attended these boarding schools. And so some of it is um, a, a direct response, some of it's more indirect, but boarding schools have had a lasting impact on them. And so it's really, um, it it is, uh, a, a visually stunning body of work that that's put together alongside the history. Um, and I think it's really worth worth checking out. Uh, so many people aren't aware of, of the history. And um, today, Native artists and, and Native peoples are learning to, um, to, to reclaim their culture and, and to heal and um, to really um, share their culture. And I think it's an amazing uh, exhibition to bring to the community. We're really proud of it. You know, we've referred to it as just the James Museum because you're a friend of our show, the James Museum of Western and Wildlife Art. Of course, there's the information for this new exhibit that we talked about. But as always, you can go to their information for or go to their website for even more information. Emily, great to see you again. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me.